What do gargoyles and chimeras mean, for example, on Notre Dame Cathedral outside on the walls? So first point a gargoyle, so it's a kind of water evacuation that is at the head of a gutter. A chimera is a monstrous character who is simply asked and who has no functions like that of gutter. 1225 The artists of the Middle Ages put on Notre Dame and other cathedrals, the Saint Chapelle also in 1240, she has. For Notre Dame de Paris, it is obviously Eugene Violet Leduc who will give some quantity after the publication of the novel of Victor Hugo on Our Lady of Paris, where the gargoyles have an almost essential role. Some, especially among Protestants, who sometimes lack culture because there was a break in the 15th century, and some see it as evidence that Catholic churches would be given to the devil. In fact, among the Christians of the Middle Ages it had a role of sacramental, sacramental it means a spiritual sign that means something profound and the meaning is very simple to understand. Saint Peter warns us in his first chapter chapter 5 verse 8 be sober. Watch because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion lurks around you seeking who to devour. Resist him firmly in the faith knowing that it is the same the kind of suffering that the community of brothers spread throughout the world supports, so we put them outside the churches I will say to the free invention of the artists of the Middle Ages and also of the Duke Violet to signify that our temple our body, that the temple of the Holy Spirit is surrounded by demons seeking to distance us from the humility of the love of Christ, but one might wonder, are not there sometimes chimeras that are present in the, the very heart of the churches, and the answer is yes, for example one of the best known is the statue of Lucifer hidden behind the flesh of the cathedral. In Legion Belgium, the demon is represented in white marble he is handsome, he has wings but he is tied with a chain. It should be borne in mind, however, that here too it is a sacramental which means that even in the preaching of the priests, even in the pulpit where the word of God should be given, if we keep watch, if the priest does not remain not in communion with the three whiteness finally, that Saint John Bosco had given for the church so many trials to know the true Christ God made man dead on the cross, risen, the Virgin Mary, the one he gave us as mother to the cross, and thirdly the faith. Proclaimed by the magisterium of Peter, if we do not remain united to these three things we can even in pulpit in a church give the word of the devil.